Hey, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm great, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Jader, how are you? I fine, thank you. All right, that is really good to hear. That is excellent. Okay. Como les ha ido? Is everything good? Yeah, good. Yeah, okay, nice. That is really good to hear. God God is good. Yeah, definitely. Uh he must be. Okay. Now, well um as well, let me see. Vamos a dar inicio. Uh, we are going to get started today's class. Thank you very much uh, for joining. All right. So vamos a la station number eight. Rocio, thank you very much uh, for joining too. Good morning. Gracias por. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, Rocio. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine. Okay. How are you, Rocio? Is everything good? Yes, everything good. Thanks for okay. us. And you? Yeah, everything's good so far. Uh, we are doing great. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, uh, let me just uh, share my screen here, okay? Because we have a couple of things to study today, all right? And they involve part of um, section number three, okay? And we have here like the objective of today's class. That is by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions, okay? Creería que Juan Carlos ya pasó por acá, all right? Ya Adelén Rocío, what about you? ¿Ya trabajamos yes, con esa parte? Okay, thank yes, you, teacher. Carlos. Uh, what, what is the lesson number? Number three. Oh, no, I'm doing uh, number two. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So this is part of number three, okay? And uh, probably this is going to be then new for you, okay? Eh, vamos a ir pasito a pasito, all right, so you can get this part, eh, you know, the, the easiest way possible, de la forma más fácil, all right, so you can get it. Uh, prepositions of place, nos indican eh, la posición, all right, so they tell us where everything is. Uh, yesterday, veíamos los lugares, okay, so we were talking about places and lo que podemos obtener y lo que podemos encontrar, right? For example, we were talking about uh, the hospital, okay? We were talking about a gas station, a supermarket, and lo que podemos encontrar ahí. So I guess you remember a little bit about that, right? ¿Se recuerdan un poquito? Do you remember that part? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, you do? Okay, great. So, since we remember that part, eh, este tema está bastante conectado, okay? So, it is pretty um, easy to get, let's say. So, first of all, let's take a look at the conversation we have right here, okay? And it says, it's across from the park. Uh, Jamie, hello. Gracias por unirse tú. Thank you very much. Okay. And, uh, well, first of all, let's take a look at this conversation right here. Uh, Jamie, um, I was asking, uh, you know, ya de Rocío y Juan Carlos, uh, si habíamos avanzado hasta la tres, because this is part of section number three. ¿Cómo va, Jamie? Ya llegó hasta esta parte. Are you in this part? Es, eh, no, todavía no. Ah, okay, okay, not yet. Eh, pero sí, ya avanzamos hasta la 3. Voy avanzando, casi llegando a la 2. No he terminado todavía la 1. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. That's fine. Bueno, tenemos el fin de semana, right Para que podamos uh -huh. avanzar poquito. Uh -huh. right. Sí, voy That a aprovechar. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. That's great. Ok, now uh -huh. let's take a look at this. We have a little conversation here, all right So let's just repeat it. Okay, let me just make this a little uh, big for you. Ok. So this is between a man and a woman, all right? And the man says, excuse me, can you help me? So let's repeat uh, this short conversation, okay? So let's repeat it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me? You can you help, you help me? Okay. Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? A public, a public restroom? restroom? I'm sorry. I don't think so. 
I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't think I so. Don't think so. Okay, and the person says, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. My son needs a restroom. My, my son needs need a, a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, well there is a restroom, restroom in the department, in the department store, store, on store on Main Street. street. Okay, on Main Street. On Main Street. Where on Main Street? On Main Street. So, let's repeat this one. Where on Main Street? Where, Where on Main Street? Street? It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. It's on the corner, it's on the of, corner of Main, of May and First Main Avenue. Avenue. First Avenue. Avenue. Okay. And uh, the person says, on the corner of Main and First? On the, on the corner the of Main and First. Uh, yes, it is across from the park. Yes, yes, it is across from the park. the park. You can't miss it. You can't, you can't miss it. it. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a, lot. Lot. a lot. Okay, first of all, I have some questions uh, for you. Okay, question number one. What is the meaning of restroom? What is a restroom? Um, a baño, baño público. Okay, thank you very much. Exactly. A restroom is un baño público. All right. So, and where is it? ¿A dónde está? Where is it? ¿A dónde está el baño? ¿A dónde puede encontrar en, un baño? All right. En la avenida May Street. Okay. The Carmen Store. No, estoy en so, I don't know exactly where is it. Okay, it is store. in the department store, exactly. Mm -hmm. And where is the department store? I don't style department store. La calle principal. Okay, on Main Street, thank you. And well, and the person says, we're on Main Street, pero a donde, right? So where? Oh, it's on the corner. What is the meaning of on the corner? Esquina. Exactly, so. Mm -hmm. Very good. It is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. So, está en la esquina, all right, de las dos calles. And then um, the person asks, okay, on the corner? Yes, it is across from the park. What is the meaning of across? Al otro lado. Cruzar. Cruzando. Okay, kind of, al otro lado, cruzando, very good. Okay, so it's across from the park. So, here we have a couple of words that are really... Um, important okay one of them is this one that we have on the corner of all right que es en esquina on the corner of also we have this one that is across from okay cruzando al cruce de so they are going to help us a lot al momento de dar direcciones but not only um that but they can tell tell us for example a donde está el ubicado right so i am going to share here a little um a PowerPoint presentation I have prepared for you, okay? And uh, this is actually um, how to use prepositions. Allow me just a second, okay. So let's take a look at this. We have a couple of words, okay? Um, but before, okay, let me just take a look at this. Okay, we have a couple of keywords right here, okay? We are going to use them later, but I want to uh, I want you to have like a like an idea, all right, of these words. Number one is go straight or go ahead or okay. So this is camine recto, all right, or bias recto. We also have turn left, okay. Por la posición se ve un poquito extraño, all right, but turn left is a uh, girar a la izquierda. Then we have turn right, girar hacia la derecha, all right. Por la posición en la que está, probably you see this a little bit weird, okay? But these are like the most important, and these are the ones that I want you to take a look at, okay? These are called prepositions of place, all right? So what is the, the, the use of prepositions of place? Nos, nos indican donde están las cosas, all right? So first, take a look at this. We have on. 
So let's repeat it. On. 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 What is on. the meaning of on? What is on? On. 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 Sobre. Iniciando. Okay, sobre. so this is on, all right? If you pay on. attention, it's exactamente sobre, all right? What about this one? Above. 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 What is above? Above. Okay, so if you check this out, uh, no está sobre la superficie, all right? Mm -hmm. So, hay como un espacio in between. Uh, so, for example, if you have air conditioning, maybe the air conditioning is above you, all right? So, no está here, but it's above, all right? So, hay una pequeña um, un pequeño espacio here, all right? Then we have over. 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 So, for example, my computer is over the table. Okay? So, mi computadora está exactamente sobre la mesa, right? It is over the table. So, over is exactly for this, okay? So, over. Sobre, all right? Then we have in front of. In front of is en frente de. I am in front of the computer, okay? So, exactly in front of, all right? So, si tienen algo in front of you, so it's exactamente al frente, all right? Um, also, we have this one that is beside, or we can use next to. Beside and next to son a la par, all right? Beside and next to. A la par. And if you check this little drawing right here, so it's exactamente a la par, all right? So this is beside or next to. Also, we have this one. So this is below. So está debajo, all right? So below. Pero hay, una pequeña, hay un pequeño espacio here, right? And then we have under, exactamente debajo de algo, all right? Uh, so this is under. Also, if you check this little circle, it is, this word has two pronunciations. You can say behind or you can say behind, all right? So, behind or behind. And that means the Niño, estoy en clase, gran puya, ¿qué hace? All right, so, behind or behind is atrás or Okay, so no se logra ver because it's kind of hidden, okay? Está como escondido. So here pretty much you have them, okay? So you have in, okay? You have behind, está como atrás, all right? Uh, we have beside, beside era this one, next to, all right? In, adentro, under. So I have something here and this is um, under, okay? Abajo, debajo. Also, uh, I have on, that is sober, all right? So that is on. So with your hands, eh, pueden buscar una canción that is called preposition song, para que ustedes practiquen también using your hands, okay? And you can uh, memorize that song. It is really useful. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Uh, let's repeat them, okay? Repeat after me, please. On. On. Above. 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 Over, 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 in front of, in, in front, front of, of, beside, beside, next to, next to, below, below, below under, 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 behind, 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 behind. behind. All right, both are acceptable. That is just fine. Now, um, are we good so far? Do you have an equation? What is the difference between on and over? All right, so normally on is just like tocando un pedacito, all right? Puede ser algo pequeño, and over is como a lo largo de, all right? So that is the biggest difference. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let me just go over some of the exercises, okay, that I have for you, so you can practice and you can enjoy them, all right? First of all, let's take a look at them. Uh, let's take a look at this little picture, okay? We have the cat, so this is the little cat, all right? And it says the table. So what is the position of the cat, all right? Then we have the vase, this is a vase, okay? And then also what is the position uh, in relation a la mesa, right? To the table. And then we have the flowers and we have the vase. So flowers, vase, 
what is the relationship? Okay, I don't understand. Where are they? I will give you one minute, okay? And write only the answers on your notebook, all right? So write the answers. Okay, everybody, so um, are we done? Yeah. I am going to show um, some of the possible answers, okay? Para que las comparemos with the answers um, that you have on your own, okay? So let's take a look at this. We have the cat is under the table, all right? Number two, the vase uh, is on the table, all right? So on. On. Oh. Flowers are in the vase. Okay, so están adentro. All right. Do you have something like that? Tenemos algo similar? Do you have something like that? Um, yeah. A little, yes. Eh, teacher, Hello? Y, si ponemos, y si ponemos the bus in over, over. Uh, the table. The thing is that over indica, indica uh, esta posición, you know. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yeah. So we can use simply on. So esta sobre. All right, that's uh -huh. okay. Yeah, and over indicaría a lo largo. All right. Ah, uh -huh. So utilizando okay. toda la superficie. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Hoy oh, ya lo entendí. Que si All está, right. digamos que si está dentro, digamos a lo largo como. Oh, but the, decir? adentro is in. So uh -huh. uh, yeah. So we have in. All right, we have on, okay, and we have under, so that is like covering the surface. Y, y si pusiera yo, my computer eh, is eh, over the, the table, está sobre la mesa, no. Yeah, that is fine. I mean, realmente depende, right? Depende de la posición en la que esté. But oh. it, it is possible, it is possible. All right. Now let's take a look at this, okay? So we have just a couple more here. We have some places, okay? For example, we have a bank, all right? We have a police station, we have a store, a hospital, movie theater, and et cetera, et cetera. We have a lots of, well, lots of places here. And we are going to write, okay? We are going to complete this with one preposition, all right? Uh, that tells, well, that can, uh, you know, tell us the position, a donde está cada una de estas cosas, where everything is. The only thing, all right, is that some of the prepositions están dentro del video that is in the platform, all right? So we are going to use a couple of words, okay? Like, for example, take a look at this. Um, we can use... Let me just go back to the previous one. Okay, let me just go back to this one. So we can use a couple of words like on. También cuando es una calle, you can use on, all right? Like we can use in front of. En la conversación veíamos across from, okay? On the corner of, all right? Uh, behind, under, below. 
Y podemos utilizar otra that is between, que es en medio de, all right? That is between. So um, what we are going to do right now is we are going to, well, first of all, I want you to take a picture, please, of this little map, all right? Take a picture, okay? And when you take the picture, we are going to make some groups. So vamos a resolverlo juntos, all right? We are going to solve it in groups. So please, everybody, take a picture of this. Tomemosle una foto, take a picture, please. Okay, here we go. So what we are going to do is we are going to make some groups, okay? And we are, we are going to solve this little map together, okay? There is one, as I mentioned, that is not there, that is between, okay? So between significa en medio de, so necesitamos mencionar ambos lugares, all right? So let's make some groups. Right now, allow me just a second. Okay, so here we go. Let's practice, okay? Try to solve uh, the exercise together. store is uh -huh. between the movie theater and post between office. between, between. Mm -hmm. the movie theater and the post office, post office. Mm -hmm. okay Victor. hello okay i was listening hey. to you oh sorry the police, the police station <laughs> is between <laughs> the bank and the store Okay, you said between. between. Uh huh. Between. The yeah, number continue. two. The drug store is in front of the police station. Mm, let's take a look at number this. Three, uh huh. Um, the this this cool? is, okay. I'm sorry, I'm now. sorry just to, to stop you there. Let's take a look at this. We have a, the drug store this one and the police station is right here hay una calle en medio all right across from oh uh, yes there you go Sandler. exactly there you go okay so across from very good what about Como numbers oh, here uh, i am sharing my screen Le estoy compartiendo mi pantalla, so you can take a look at this one Le logra ver. Uh -huh. can you see that of course. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, okay. So what about the third? The school and the restaurant? So the school is next to the restaurant. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Okay, really good. What about number four? The train station. We have the train station here. And we have okay. school right here. Across from. Across from, uh, take a look at it. Yes, really good. Okay, nice, nice. What about number five? The drugstore and the movie theater, oh, and the post office. We have two places. Between? Between, Between. let's take a look at it. Yes, really good, excellent. You got them correct, really good. That is excellent, okay. So allow me just a, a second here. Vamos a volver a la eh, conferencia principal, okay? Just a minute. Okay. Good job, guys. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, very well. Okay, nice. That is really good to hear. Beatriz, ¿tuvo la oportunidad de practicar? No, teacher. 
here, how will it happen? Ah, no, no, okay, okay, no problem. So, um, hemos estado practicando preposiciones, okay? We have been checking prepositions, for example, between, okay? In front of, uh, across from, okay? Next to, so vamos a seguir practicando in a couple of seconds. Son de la sección número 3. Ya llegó hasta la número 3, Beatriz. No he hecho, eh, tengo la 1, pero solo me faltan las oraciones por terminar de dos, los, de los dos últimos, creo. Oh. Ok, ok, ahí sí. Bueno, well, pero tenemos el fin de semana, Beatriz, para que nos podamos poner el día, ok, nos alcance hasta la 3 para el día lunes, right? So, así ya estamos eh, ready y avanzamos lo más rápido que podamos, too. All right. So, so everybody, um, let me see, let me see. I am missing Carolina. Okay, there you go. Rocío, Jader, Ceci. Okay, perfect. So, um, estuvimos practicando, so we were checking some of these prepositions, okay? And really quick, solamente revisemos las respuestas, okay? Let's take a look at the answers. So number one is between, que es en medio de, when we have two, okay? Uh, we have a crush from, because we have police station, drugstore, and here, hay una calle que vamos a cruzar. So this is a crush from. Number three is next to, school and restaurant. School and restaurant están a la par, so we use next to, all right? Um, the train station and the school, Again, vamos a hacer al cruce de, so this is across from, okay? And here we have the drugstore and the movies. Oh, drugstore is between uh, movie, the movie theater and the post office, right? So remember that between is cuando yo tengo dos de referencia, okay? Y esto está en esta posición exactamente, so here, all right? En esta posición de en medio. Um, so far, are we good? Do you have any question? Preguntas? Do you have any? ¿Cómo se pronuncia teatro? Theater. Theater. Okay. Theater. Yeah, that is a theater. Um, this is a movie theater. Any other question? Um, todavía no ha visto el... Las manos, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Derecha, izquierda? Um, no, really. No hemos visto exactamente direcciones, right? ¿Cómo decirle do, eh, cruce a la derecha? No yet. Vamos pasito a pasito, okay? So, in a couple of seconds, we will get into that. Now, um, con esas, with this one, ¿estamos bien? Are we good with them? Estamos bien, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. That is great. Really good. Okay, now let's do something quickly, okay? I want you to take a look at your room, them or veamos lo que tienen a la par, okay? Take a look at the things that you have around you, okay? Lo que tienen enfrente, lo que tienen a la par, all right? Lo que tienen hacia atrás, all right? And I want you to try to describe them, okay? For example, my computer is on the table, okay? Um, so I have a wall behind, okay? There is a pen on my table, okay? And next to me, there is a chair. So vamos a describir lo, lo que tengamos, okay? Lo que usted logre ver a la par de usted, next to, okay? Um, also we can describe between, okay? So si tienen algo en esta posición de en medio que usted logra visualizar right now, intentamos describirlo, okay? So I will give you like three minutes. Escribámoslo rapidito para que podamos hacer la conexión, all right? Let me just go back. Permítanme regresar al anterior. Let me just go back here. And uh, allow me just a second. Voy a regresar al anterior para que veamos las preposiciones and uh, it can be a little easier, okay? So these are the most common prepositions, okay? Um, on, sobre, okay? Uh, in front of, enfrente de, son las más comunes, okay? Under, debajo o en la posición de abajo, right? Behind, atrás, all right? Next to, a la par, all right? Eh, 
And there we go. Intentemos usar tantas como podamos, ¿ok? So I will give you three minutes. Hagamos una descripción rapidito. And then para que la podamos compartir. All right? So three minutes. Hello, hello. Almost done. Ya casi terminamos. Juan, uh, Juan Carlos, tell me. Y si, y si yo pongo, teacher, what I have uh, in I from me a computer. Uh, okay, so if you remember, we were like checking or we were saying that there is like a specific... Um, Structure? Lo que yo tengo, como usted yeah. dijo, lo que yo tengo frente, eh, lo que tengo enfrente de mí. Yeah. Pongo... So you can write, there is, si se recuerda, ayer veíamos, there is, I, okay, there is a computer in front of me. Or in front of me, there is a computer, okay? So siempre necesitamos un poquito de estructura, all right? So we can use, ah, there is okay, a computer okay. in front of me. That is good. No, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, no problem. Okay, everybody, so, eh, ¿cómo vamos? Are we about to finish? Yes. Yeah, better? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Yami, are we good? Liam, Ceci, Vicky, hello, Vicky. Victor. No sé si estará bien. Yes. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, hello. The... Tell me, Lia. Hello. <laughs> este, I am on my bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> también sería tal vez the ta table is in front of the kitchen. The table is okay. Let me just write it down here. The, the table is in front of the kitchen. Okay. Uh, when you say kitchen, you mean the el room, verdad? The lugar donde está la cocina completa. Or uh, by kitchen, se refiere a donde está la cocina al a la estufa. Ajá. Uh -huh. La, la estufa, ¿eh? Oh, okay. Uh, so, estufa in English is called stove. So, the table is in front of the stove, okay? Because kitchen is como el room, okay? Es el lugar donde está todo lo demás. But uh, stove es la estufa, exactamente donde usted pone, you know, le pone fuego and all that stuff, all right? Yes. So, that is a good example. Thank you. That is quite fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. So we are going to get in groups, okay? Um, one more time. So you can share ideas. Igual podamos discutirlas, all right? And if there are questions, podamos también, uh, you know, clarify questions, okay? So try to share. Share as much as possible, okay? So here we go. is above to me, the ground mm -hmm. is under to me. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, ¿Cuántos ejemplos dijo? No, no, no. Que se pudieran, yo solo tenía cuatro. Tantos como uh, pueden, as many as you can. Ah, uh, ok. Um, eh, hello, tell me. Eh, yo utilicé en algunas ocasiones, bueno, en dos, I have a screen front to me, correcto. Uh, I have like una pantalla, I have a screen in front of me. Para decir tengo, yo tengo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is okay. I have a screen in front of me. Oh, or there is a screen in front of me, que sería como lo más común, but it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Se entiende. That's fine. All right. So, okay. Anybody else? I, eh, si dijera yo, I have, I have computer, eh, a from, computer, a computer eh, from, eh, from front of me. Okay. Um, that is quite fine. Solamente recordémonos. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice en frente de? So, en frente de es la palabra comple completa. All right. In front of. Necesito la palabra. In front of. Uh -huh. in, front, in front of. No, in front of. Yes. In front of. Okay. So, there is a computer in front of me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. That's okay. Anybody else? Be oh, Beatriz. Uh, I have. No, Beatriz. Um, the table in front of the chair. The table. Okay, good. Solo me le falta algo. Something really important there. The table is in front. Exactly. In front of the chair. That is quite fine. That is good. Uh, solamente me le falta el verbo eh, is. The table is. Okay, that is good. Really good. Mm -hmm. The table is in front of the chair. Yes. 
my bed. I, my bed. Yes. The, the next two. Next two. Um, next two. The computer. Okay, so the like the computer is next to the bed. Uh huh. Okay, the computer is next to the bed. That is a good example. Thank you. That is good. Yeah, it is good. My bed is next to the computer, or the computer is next to the bed. In both ways. Ambas están bien. Both are good. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's continue, guys. Voy a ir a revisar cómo está ahí. Como les está yendo el siguiente grupo, all right? Okay, so, that is quite fine. So let's continue. And si tienen preguntas, tomemos nota. And uh, later we can clarify that, all right? En mi, o sea, la, en, en mi cuarto está detrás de mí. Behind me, ajá. Uh -huh. Behind me. Hello. Oh. O sea que yo podría decir, my mother is eh, behind me. My mother yeah. is behind me. Yes. Yes, you can. Like mm -hmm. when you are talking about somebody, okay? You say, le dice, uy, hey, sh, you know, be quiet. Está atrás de ustedes. She's behind you. <laughs> yes, of course. Remember yeah. that prepositions? No dicen eso. A donde está algo? O a donde está alguien? Okay. So, yes, of course you can. Okay. Good. Teacher, tengo una duda. ¿Cuándo yes. se debe de ocupar el there is en este tipo de estructura? Uh, oh. Yeah, there is solamente indica que hay algo, all right? Um, mm -hmm. So, no necesariamente es para indicar un, una posición. La posición es la preposición, in, on, under, etc. There is solamente para decir hay, all right? Mm. I can tell you, in my room, there is a picture on the wall and it's good uh -huh, sobre la, uh -huh. yeah so there is a solamente para decirle hay okay Ay. Uh, there is a book under my bed for example or there is a book on the table okay so let's there is a solamente para indicar hay algo mm -hmm. so mm. that is like the most okay. common okay so give me some examples okay thank you <coughs> You are welcome. Okay. Díganme un par de ejemplos. ¿Qué tienen enfrente de ustedes? What do you have in front of you, next to you, under your table, maybe? So tell me. Uh, I am in front of my computer. Ah, okay. Very good. Um, I am between the living room and the and the kitchen. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, Pero. Teacher, para decir yo tengo, no debería ser I have. Yes, no. yes, but, pero él me está diciendo yo estoy, like, enfrente, ok, él me está ah, dando la posición. Yo estoy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember that verb B es yo soy o yo estoy. So I am también indica como yo estoy en un lugar, ok. I am in uh -huh. my room, I am in the bedroom, I am in the living room, so it is fine. So I am in front of the computer, yo estoy, también lo puedo utilizar. Eh, para indicar estar, all right? So it is good, it is okay. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh, sir. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Okay, so Vicky, tell me, tell me. Uh, I am from uh, the my picture. Oh, okay. So there is like a picture in front of you. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. The mask, mm. any other thing there? What is next to you? ¿Qué tiene la par? A la par. Is, I, I, I. En este caso I podemos am, decir, uh -huh, I am, or there is. Uh -huh. There is a there, there is, uh -huh. there is a gabinet, o como sería? Gavetero, ¿cómo se dice? Gabinet. Ah, drawer, drawer. Ah, there draw is a drawer. Drawer, yes. con W. Yes, uh, I'm going to send it here. Okay, there is a drawer. Okay, that's quite fine. Okay, uh, anything else? 
¿Qué más? Mm. Tengo una duda. ¿Cómo se dice pared? Wall. 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 Uh -huh. Wall. Ah, entonces, I am, I am next to uh, the walk. Ah, ok, the wall. Wall, sin la T. Uh -huh. The wall. 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 Yeah, ah, ah, I okay. sent it in the wall. chat. Ok. Yeah. So, yeah, well, actually, the wall is behind me, okay? <laughs> so, it is okay. Yeah, exactly. Para eso utilizamos las proposiciones. So, excellent job. Really good. Sigamos practicando. Okay. I didn't have the chance to listen to Leah, too. Okay? Escuchamos a Leah. Voy a revisar cómo está uh, yéndole el otro grupo. All right? Y ahorita regreso. So, let's continue. On, querido on, porque está sobre una parte. The amazing on. On the day. Oh. Hello. 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 So tell me, ¿cómo les está yendo here? How is everything eh, going? No ahorita los escritos estamos inventando. De lo oh, que estamos oh, viendo oh, en oh, nuestro oh, contorno. Oh, excellent. Oh, okay, excellent. Let's practice. That's excellent. So tell me, Kevin, what do you see? Dígame lo que hay. There is, there are. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. My lamb is on the desk. Okay, good, good, good. What else? Um, my feet is below the table. Your, I'm sorry. My feet. Your, my feet. Like uh, your pig? No, uh, my dog. Oh, your pet. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Okay, it's okay. No, I heard pig. Below so, the table. Me imagine un cerdito. No, but it's okay. It says you don't worry. That's okay. That's good. Okay, your pet. No, okay. me encanta que me corrija porque la pronunciación es que uno vaya. Um, yeah, well, don't worry. That is just fine. Good, good. Nice try. Vaya, Buen intento, Victor. Ceci. Uh -huh. Victor. Uh, Victor. The um, print, the 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 print, the the printer, the print the or the picture, the the print, the okay, the printer, the print, the printer is on the on the desk, the desk. Ah, okay, good. The printer is on the desk. Okay, yes. good. Hey, good. Very good. ¿Qué más hay on uh, the desk? My pen, my pen uh -huh. is on the notebook. The pen is, oh, okay, on the notebook. Okay, the pen yes. is on the notebook. Excellent. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, Caro, ¿qué pasó con su picture? Ceci, what happened with your picture? <laughs> <laughs> you veo los nombres, I see your names. <laughs> I don't see your picture. <laughs> es, que, es que estoy mala de los ojos. Me ha dado así como conjuntivitis, entonces. Ah, okay. Okay. Por eso, por eso. Ah, Yo soy de eh. oh, <laughs> No worry. That is fine. Okay. Well, ya que se siente el Friday, I think. Okay. Uh, questions. Do you have any question? Um, ahorita digo, I am in front of a bo bottle. Uh, a bottle. Okay. I am a in bar, front of bar. a bottle. Uh -huh. Okay, good. That uh -huh. is all right. Okay, so vamos a volver a la, a la um, conferencia principal. Okay, allow me okay. just a second here. Very good okay. job. I listen to your Thank examples. You. They are good. Mm -hmm. They are good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. Okay, so we were practicing prepositions of place. Okay, estuvimos practicando un poquito de cómo decir a dónde está cada una de las cosas that you can see, all right? Uh, de las que tienen alrededor, everything that is around you. Uh, do you have any question for me? Tenemos alguna pregunta. Do you have any question?
no questions? Did we get everything? Is everything fine? Is everything clear? Or like, do you have any question? Algo que no estaba muy claro that you would like to ask, that you would like to know about? Or no, not really. Uh, solo... Yes, clear. <laughs> clear, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, eh, mientras avanzamos en la plataforma, nos vamos a dar cuenta, right? Si hay algo con lo que eh, tenemos dificultades, okay, o que no recordamos cómo, cómo resolverlo, all right? So, if you have any question, compartámoslo en el grupo. And uh, si podemos encontrar ejercicios extra, okay? También puede compartirlo. So, the group is for you guys para que compartamos cosas eh, relevantes, importantes, right? O algo que nos puedan, um, you know, que nos pueda aportar. Eh, Victor, I see Victor has a question. Yes, Victor, tell me. Hello. Hola. Yes, Victor, tell me. En el caso, vaya, eh, cuando, cuando un, algo está sobre pero pero no no cubriendo todo solo una parte es on yeah. pero si 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 está tengo algo dentro de o sea dentro de una caja dentro de algo we use ¿cómo in sería? in verdad in yes ah, okay. Dentro, um, okay let's take a look at this imagine that my hands representan las preposiciones all right, so pretty much I have in, dentro, on, sobre, okay? And then we can use under, okay, okay que es abajo, debajo, all right? But it's in, on, okay. all right? So in, si está algo dentro, for example, in my pocket, in mis bolsillos, okay. so I can start checking, oh, I have coins, I have money, mm -hmm. I have a pen, mm -hmm. exactly. And on is Much todo money. lo que está sobre, all right? on the table, on my bed, on my dresser, for example, or on my drawer, so it's sobre, all right? Uh, okay. Did I answer your question? Respondí? Was that your question? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. excellent. Good. Okay, Car uh, yeah. Carolina, tell me. Sí, es uh, un ejemplo para ocupar a bow. Uh, all right. So I can use, for example, the air conditioning. Si usted ha visto eh, el aire acondicionado normally, no es que le quede sobre la cabeza, right? So I cannot use mm -hmm. on, sino que hay una distancia prudente y está sostenido, right? Pero algunas veces si usted lo puede ver, all right? Y está kind of eh, encima, all right? So we can use above for that. Algo que usted vea que está colgando, all right? O algo que le quede en una posición, but sin tocarle, all right? So there is like a little uh, space over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. The lamp. Ceci? The lamp. The lamp. Yeah, like a lamp, air conditioning, lamp, okay? That's the one. Hey, Victor, I'm sorry, tenía otra pregunta or quedó arriba la, la mano? Me quedé con las manos arriba. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, that's okay, no problem. All right, <laughs> yeah, really good. So castigado, punished. Okay, <laughs> okay, everybody. So, gracias. Thank you very much for being here. Gracias por unirse a la conferencia. Espero que eh, hayan quedado claras how to use prepositions. And, y si no, con gusto las revisamos el día lunes. Intentemos avanzar el fin de semana. Tenemos viernes, sábado, domingo para trabajar un poquito. Así el lunes ya vamos ready. Y para terminar la sección número 3, all right? Y la próxima semana, pues si ya logran terminar eh, la plataforma 100%, ya obtienen su diploma y ya se quedan libres solo para practicar, all right? So, gracias a todos. Thank you. Nos vemos on Monday. Have a good night. Okay.